Good morning, here with your two favorite anchors. I'm Mia Bernal. I'm Michelangelo Barajas. And this <laughs> is Disney Channel. This Monday at Nashville, Tennessee, there was an unfortunate school shooting at Covenant Elementary School where seven people were shot dead, including three children and five other wounded. We don't know why this happened, but MNPD promises to continue to reinforce safety protocols and monitor the best practices on keeping the students safe from harm. This one's for all of you TikTok addicts out there. America grows closer to banning TikTok once and for all. As young people have flocked to the app, TikTok's chief executive, Mr. Chus, has said that more than 150 million Americans are now users. Lawmakers have grown more concerned about the data that the Chinese-owned company may be collecting and the potential for the app to be used to spread propaganda on behalf of the Chinese Communist Party. Kathy Rogers, a Republican congresswoman, said, Your platform should be banned which kicked off a five hour of questioning of Mr. Chu by American lawmakers. Guys, our Maltwood Sapphire's Winter Guard season is sadly coming to an end. I could say so myself. Recapping from last week's competition, JV came in second place in Regional A and Varsity came in fifth place in Scholastic A. Tomorrow will be WTCA Championships at Pebble Hills High School. We have JV performing at 10.20 a.m. and Varsity at 1.19 p.m. We wish you the best of luck, Sapphires. This past Thursday, the Dollars and Cents and Money Matters classes went to Eastlake High School for a job con. The students from all over the district were able to learn about careers and get an idea of what they'd like to do in the future. There were many types of booths showing off all the different types of careers and gave good information out to all the students that attended. That's all the news we have for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I'm Michelangelo Barajas. I'm Mia Bernal. And this was Disney Channel. Hi, I'm Luis Maldonado, and welcome back. <coughs> Sorry, I think my voice cracked or something. Hi, I'm Luis Maldonado, and welcome back to Sports Minute. Fernando Tatis is coming back to El Paso. The San Diego Padres icon will be on a 15-day rehab assignment with the Chihuahuas on April 4th when the team will be in Sacramento. He will make his grand return to the Padres on April 20th. The MLB season is right around the corner with insane trades and moves done by players in the preseason, such as the ground to the Rangers. And news came out, such as the Guardians reportedly offering Abro three years and so might have preferred Abro to Josh Bell, whom they eventually landed on a two-year deal with. Opening day games will fall on March 30th, while all teams will play. Softball and baseball season has been underway for a few weeks now, and baseball has a current record of 2-2 two and, two, and softball 5-2. and two. Baseball's next game tomorrow will be against El Dorado, and softball's next big game will be today against Americas. Make sure to go out and support us. That's all I have for you today. Have a good April Fool's tomorrow, and I'll catch you next time. Hi, Rams. Welcome back to Ram TV. I'm Abby. And I'm Ernie. And welcome to... Just kidding. Just we kidding. Don't do this. No. And this is T-Talk, T -talk, the show where we talk about Twitter's trending topics. Not anything huge is happening right now. Not really. A lot of like small topics. Uh, to start, a little update from our last episode. Oh, yeah. Apparently, the Haley and Selena drama is now over. Apparently. Apparently. That's what they say every time. <laughs> they post it on their stories like, oh, like, we don't want hate sent to each other, like yada, 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 kindness. But it's like, we'll see you next month. <laughs> yeah, we, we do this every time. Speaking babe. of Selena, her and Zayn are like, sparking dating rumors which is like yeah, I, I'm here for it they yeah. look pretty I feel also Kendall and Bad Bunny I don't oh. even want to talk about it what do they have in common yeah it's uh, like, Tyga and Avril Lavigne what do they have in common what? it's just like, a lot of random people dating random yeah, people yeah good for point. them I guess yeah does that like affect our lives mm, not really but like what do we do now that prom is over? Prom is over. It's crazy. Like months of preparation, just gone. Four hours? Yeah. All that time it. getting ready? 
But yeah. I thought it was cute. Yeah, it was good. I liked it. I thought everyone looked really pretty. I thought that dress we saw 14 times was really, it was really cute. But you know what? But each person ate. Each person <laughs> no, but ate. Yeah, yeah. Everybody looked really good. Yeah. I thought like the 360 was cute. Yeah, photo they had booth. cute stuff. We took some good pictures. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think we created really good memories. And, I think like, it was definitely prom. Yeah. 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 It was a good night overall. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But that's all we have for today, Rams. I'm Abby. And I'm Ernie. And this was Tea, Tea Talk. Talk. Hi Rams, welcome back. I'm Abby. And I'm Ernie. Oh, I did it wrong. What is it? Welcome back to Rep TV. Rep TV, yes. <laughs> and and welcome is... to... Oh my god! <laughs> did you hear about them building the pool on the fourth floor? Along with the gymnastics workout? Yeah. How do you feel about it? Like... I think it's definitely... I don't swim personally, <laughs> but yeah, I, I think... Swim. I think that a pool on the fourth floor would work out terrific, and I think that we should send every freshman up there. Did you hear about the secret dungeon, though? That's through the elevator, like on the, the basement? There's a dungeon down there. Did you know that? You haven't heard. No. <laughs> Dude, you're living under a rock and you're about to graduate. Girl, oh my how God. did you know that? Every single one knows about that. That's where they store all the... <laughs> so you know the trainers, right? You know how there's like another like door over there that's like really big. So did you hear that they're gonna open a Starbucks like in there? Really? Yeah. Like actually. Actually, like, not a prank. No, 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 no. Like they're gonna open open a Starbucks. Like there. actually. Yeah, actually. Being so for real. Like they're gonna make coffee or they're gonna sell people. Like make the coffee, sell the coffee. <laughs> like a whole Starbucks built in there. Ah. I don't know. I feel like that's a trick. No, no, no. So, Mr. Hemling, how do you feel about the pool that they're building in the fourth floor? Oh, it's much needed. Um, I've been waiting for this feature for many years, so I'm really excited. There's going to be a slide, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. With okay, the jacuzzi good. on the side, too. Oh, yeah. But that's just for teachers, right? No, yeah. yeah. All right, guys. We're here with Officer Listilla, ready to confirm about the pool in the fourth floor. Please confirm. I would like to confirm that there is a pool on the fourth floor. And you've been there yourself, right? Twice, actually. I'm going tomorrow. Oh, class, All man. right. Thank you so much, Officer. Y'all have a good one. This concludes this week's April Fool's segment. I'm Michaela Zamora. I'm Janice Reyes. And this was Round TV.